Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I'm actually continuing this vlog from the last vlog because that one was getting too long, so kind of a random intro continuation. My friend Gyps is still here, and I'm gonna go run errands with him right now to return some items that he bought for his shoot. So in the other vlog, I talked about these Nike, or sorry, these North Face Alta Mesa 500s, and I got them in the green, so now the cream color came in. So that's today's outfit. Okay, okay, not too bad today. Not too bad, yeah. All right, let's go. Target was crazy, so I didn't film, but let me do a haul of what I got while Gyps was returning his stuff. <laughs> Jalapeno chips. Mm. And my favorite, extra hot flaming hats. Mm. Yum. But we're gonna head over to, uh, what were you saying? Um, maybe head to some like vintage stores. Vintage stores. Just check it out. Yeah. I'm in the mood. Nothing looking. I'm in, you're not looking. Nothing anything? particular, oh. but it's always fun to like, you know, something yeah. that grabs your attention. For me, artwork, always on the lookout. All right. Super thin. Is this a veneer? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> we are back home. Honestly, I'm not sure this works here. I'm still undecided, but the good thing is I am in the market for a desk for our guest bedroom and I think that would work great with this. I feel like it's a little bit too vintage for this space, but we'll see. Everything in here is still work in progress anyways, so yeah. Jip is actually leaving tomorrow, so we figured we're gonna go out for dinner, meet up with a couple of other friends, so I'm thinking of leaving you guys here tonight so I can just enjoy some quality time with friends and not have to worry about vlogging, so I will see you guys tomorrow morning. All right, quick outfit check before we leave. I am in all Patagonia. <laughs> In gyps is in gyps. Boom. Boom. Hi everyone. Good morning. It is Sunday, Easter Sunday. We are headed over to my mom's house. For Easter, we usually just gather and feast and pretty much eat all day. So that's what we're doing today. But before we do that, we're actually gonna head over to the cemetery, put some flowers for my dad, and then we'll be on our way. In I say a couple of vlogs ago, I talked about how I visited my dad at the cemetery and I broke my ladder. This is the tree right here. This is the culprit. Because this is where I would always park. And I just, you know, kind of forgot that my van is humongous. <gasps> All right, so quick story time while we're sitting here with dad. I don't know if you guys can hear me well because it is a very, very windy, as you can probably tell the trees my hair but as i was saying earlier last time i parked here with my van i broke my ladder because <laughs> i was too tall hit the branch on the tree and it just kind of snapped off and i talked about it in my vlog and how i'm on a facebook group for winnebago revels and someone locally in san diego was offering up their ladder for free because they had upgraded the crazy part of that story is one free ladder san diego my specific van that in itself is cool but then his name is also michael rogers and then to top it off his nickname is mikey so he goes by mikey rogers so someone had commented channel i follow how serendipitous was it that you know possibly your dad led you to another mikey rogers or some th something of that sort and you know that really touched my heart because i didn't think about it at that time because that's not something I thought about, but now that I think about it, it's like the crazy coincidence of meeting another Mikey Rogers who has the same van as me, who is giving up a free ladder in San Diego with the same nickname. So it just kind of like, it touched my heart because, you know, in that comment also said, maybe that was some small sort of sign from my dad. And, you know, I think that's kind of what life is about after death is taking signs to make sense of everything. Cause you know, it's like, what is the point of life? You know, like we work to live, and soon after we pass and then memories fade and so when i can take any little signs here and there from people who have passed i'm gonna hold that dear to my heart this also brings up another sort of quick story time too about a post that i saw on instagram and it was it touched me deeply too i, I almost started crying it was a guy and his family and it was like b-roll clips of him and they were like you know just enjoying the life enjoying their day at a picnic and just doing family stuff but the monologue and the voiceover was him talking about like i lost a co-worker this week you know kind of just 
just weird how she was there, now she's not, her things are empty, and then he just started talking about how she worked so hard for pension that she'll never see. Or, you know, now I'm blanking about what he was saying, but he was basically just insinuating that life is short and we should be doing things to enrich our lives and to live as best life as we can and as happy of a life as we can because tomorrow it can all be gone. Our existence in this world can leave in an instant. And so if that happens, what was our life for? What was our purpose? And so that's where I'm getting at. I started to think about purpose and like, what is the purpose of my life? And I know that's so freaking deep, but if you really think about it, it's so true. It's like, I want to find more purpose in my life. And I don't really know what that entails or what that means, but I think that's going to be what 2024 is about for me. The last couple of years I really spent really investing in myself selfishly. I It was sort of a survival instinct mode for me to be selfish and to take my time. But now that I'm entering 2024, I feel like, what is this year about for me? And I think that is finding purpose. But I don't know what that is, but I know I think that's my journey for 2024. And it could be 2024, 2025. I'm not putting like a timeline on trying to figure out my life's purpose or anything like that. At least now I'm a little bit more clear about my next journey in my life and what I want to do. So yeah. All right, Dad. Thanks for uh, sitting here chatting with us. And I'll see you soon. We're going to head over to Mom's. Okay. Say hi, Mom. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. <laughs> my mom's knee's hurting. You're getting a shot Friday? Yeah, Friday. Happy Easter! High five. What's up, Grayson? Happy Easter! High five. Happy Easter. That looks delicious. That's from Northgate? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna get it all. Um, okay. Are you hiding it inside? Whoa, look at that old school picture. Let's go. <laughs> I look like Max. I look like my nephew. Go Grayson! Oh, shoot. Go Grayson! Come on! $10! Hi everyone, it has been almost a week since we last talked. It's Friday now and I feel like the last time we spoke was, I wanna say Sunday Easter, possibly? It's weird, it's always a weird concept when it's like, it's been almost a week for me chatting with you guys, but literally it's been seconds. Anyways, hi. But I wanted to turn on the camera and just have a little chat with you guys as I take my pre-workout before I go for a run. The last time we talked, we were talking about, we were at the cemetery, started talking about purpose and oddly enough a lot of things have been aligning this week and what i mean by aligning just like little things the universe is sending me that are coinciding with my thoughts does that make sense i don't know it's kind of weird because when you don't have faith but that sounds a little harsh i grew up as a catholic but i consider myself now to be agnostic basically what agnostic means is that you do believe in some higher form of being but not necessarily tied to a religion that is a whole topic in itself of why i left catholicism and a lot of that has to deal with me coming out figuring out that i was gay and being abandoned by my religion but another story another time and I've kind of moved on from that, so I don't even know if I want to open that bag of worms. You know, and it's fine. I, I still respect all religions. It's just for me personally, when you aren't accepted, it's hard to believe. So I'll just put it at that. So anyways, back to purpose. Just a lot of these things have been aligning with my thoughts, and I'm taking that as a sign from the universe to take notes and just kind of like remember some of these things that are happening to me. I've also been listening to a new podcast I've absolutely fallen in love with and it is by a renowned author and I think she's known for like wellness and mental health and stuff and her name is Mel... shit. Mel, G Mel Gibson? <laughs> Not Mel Gibson. Oh my god, I'm such a dork. Hold on. Okay, found it. Mel Robbins, and I have been really loving her podcast. I know sometimes when people talk about mental health, it can kind of get like exhausting and like righteous, but I love the way she presents all of her topics and her lessons. It's more in a 
conversational friend to friend style and she's very like funny, dorky, witty. She's not trying to be better than you or think better than you. And a lot of her guests that she brings on, she learns a lot from them as well. So it's kind of like a, a learning experience with a friend. I've only listened to about six or seven uh, podcasts now, but there are two that really resonated with me. I'll link them down below in case you're interested. One was talking about people's relationship with alcohol, and then the other one was talking about how to deal with like stressful anxiety situations that aren't that big of a deal, but we make it a big deal. But yeah, the reason I am bringing her up is that a lot of her topics and stuff have been resonating with me about the things that I've been thinking about in the last couple weeks. And just to take it back to purpose and how I was talking about how like when we die, our bodies are gone, the things we own are rendered pretty much useless unless obviously you have a will and you give them away and someone else can make use of them. But I mean, in the grand scheme of it, everything we own once loved, it's just, it's gone. And what are we giving back or what was our legacy in this life? And then I started thinking about like an agave, just like Donnie took out one of our agaves the other day. And I've talked about this in a few vlogs, but right before agaves die, they do something called like an agave death bloom, where a little tree or like a stalk grows in the middle of them. And it creates these little buds that then turn into flowers. And so when the flowers bloom, it's providing pollination for bees and hummingbirds. And it just got me thinking about life after death, right? Also, I have been into orcas a lot lately, and so obviously I'm getting all these orca content in all my social streams. <laughs> and so essentially whales started popping up too, and there was a post about how when like a whale dies, like a big whale dies, it's giving back to the ecosystem. It's feeding a bunch of organisms and sea life and fish and other mammals. So it's kind of, it's a way of giving back to the world, right? Just like the agave is giving back to the world. And so it's like, there's all these things in nature that when you pass, you give back, you replenish. Your life wasn't meaningless. And so when I think about humans and when we die, it's almost like, what are we giving back? I mean, like we're like the most selfish species. Like we bury each other, what else does our dead body really do? I know that sounds so morbid, but like if you really think about it. Yeah, we give back to the earth maybe in, in, in the sense that we turn into soil or maybe we're feeding the worms down there, but like, is that really it? So yeah, again, back to purpose. I know this is so deep and I know some of you guys are like, shut the fuck up, but that's just kind of where I'm at right now. And I'm um, just, that's my journey and it's what I want to talk about. So there was a reason why I decided to turn on the camera before I went to work out. Okay, now I remember. It's because I wanted to, I guess, also talk about the universe and just like all these signs that I'm getting, I'm taking notes, I'm trying to figure out what it means and how it will pertain to my life. I don't think I need to find the answers anytime soon, but I just wanna take note of them and, and just try to connect the dots. And so I guess that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, but quickly regarding that podcast about dealing with like stressful situations, one of the lessons in that podcast, she says a sentence that resonated so much with me. And that sentence is, it's not that deep. And I know that can sound passive aggressive when you're using it in a certain tone or in a certain conversation or when you're dealing with like a topic you're talking about with someone that to them might be a big deal, but to you it isn't. She was saying like, when you really think about it in the grand scheme of this world, some things are just not that deep. So it's almost like if someone is coming at you and they're annoyed about something, maybe just feel like, I hear you, but it's not that deep. <laughs> And I just love that because really it kind of goes along when in some of my videos at the end, my little tagline, when I say, if you can try to choose happy over sad today, that's kind of what I'm insinuating too in that like a lot of things you can just let go because it's not that deep. So if someone cuts you off and you're so pissed, it ain't that deep, bro. It's not even about you. Maybe they're late. Maybe they're busy. Maybe they had a shitty day and they want to go home. Don't make it about yourself and getting mad because they cut you off because it's not that deep. Or like if a friend is annoyed at you because of something they assumed and they're sending you some random ass mean text or being passive aggressive, bro, it's not that deep. We have all these assumptions that we like conjure up in our mind about something, but at the end of the day, it's not that deep. And I'm also talking about this as if it's like me telling you that it's not that deep, but don't get me wrong, I need to hear that too. When I'm coming at someone with some bullshit because I conjured up something in my mind and I'm assuming something, I need to hear that too. So I'm gonna tell Donnie, like, if I have some attitude about something, please tell me it's not that deep. <laughs> I need to hear it too. 
you know, the stuff I'm talking about also applies to me. So yeah, just wanted to make that clear. Oh, we actually might be going to a food market tonight. My coworker Alyssa had mentioned there is a food market from the OC coming to San Diego. They're gonna be over in the Mission Valley area. I think it's called like 626 Market or something like that. And it's like a bunch of Asian food vendors. And so we're thinking of going tonight as long as the rain lets up. And then tomorrow, hopefully we can finally do some yard work. You ever get like this? You drink your pre-workout, now you're second guessing working out. <laughs> But I guess that's probably why I drink it when I'm not feeling like I wanna work out because then I'm forced to because like I gotta expend this energy somewhere. <sighs> okay, let's go. Oh my God, look, when Donnie runs, he tapes this because he doesn't wanna see his time or his mileage. <laughs> <sighs> I really am trying to delay this run as much as possible, but did wanna show you guys my new shoes. I am in my new shoe, fitness shoe era. I haven't bought new fitness shoes in forever. 2023, don't think I bought a single pair of running shoes or hiking shoes, so I deserve it. And I ended up buying another pair of running shoes. And these are my favorite running shoes to date. I've never owned a pair of On before. Is that even how you pronounce them, On? But these are the Cloud Clips. And when I tell you, these are one of the most comfortable running shoes I've ever had. I am a huge fan. And at first I was a little bit weirded out by these little holes right here because I feel like I have a little slight fear of holes like that. There's a, what is it called? Something phobia with like, like holes. Ugh, creeps me out. But for some reason, this doesn't creep me out. But like the technology in this, I don't know what they're doing, but it literally feels like you're running on clouds, especially when you're running on a treadmill. It feels amazing, so. Huge fan, highly recommend and they look pretty cool too. All right, let's get this run over with, shall we? Lights out on the favor Too many ways been in your place There's delays And it up the signs It was on the table Driving and vibing from the belay All right guys, we're here at the night market. It's 626 night market. He looks overwhelmed. Oh, that looks bomb. I wonder if they could do like a fried version. Yum. Okay, yeah, there is so much shit here. <laughs> Wait, I don't even know where to start. I know. There's so much, but it all looks so good. All right, I think we're gonna start with this potato swirl, like a little classic festival food. Okay, we're just gonna try this, ready? Oh shit, babe, that's fucking good. Good, huh? Mmm. I got that, yeah. Oh my god, they're so fucking good. Mmm. We want to try so much stuff, but like, everything is so big. They should have bought like a little container to keep things in, so we could eat it later. 10 out of 10. Should have brought hand sanitizer. All right, so we just ordered from Dragonfire Barbecue. We got the beef skewer and then the squid skewers, and we got them both spicy. All right, my niece Jordan and her boyfriend are here. Hi, Jordan. What's up? What's up? Oh, what's up, Noah? How are you, dude? I'm oh, a good Donald. We're waiting for some food over there. What do you guys think? Bomb? Good, huh? It's it's good, like, huh? What's over there? Oh, it's good. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. I like that. It's really spicy. Spicy. Yeah. Like, gotta go buy a drink somewhere. Alright, let's try the squid. Mmm. I feel like I need some rice, though. Yeah. Use a little more salt, maybe? A touch more salt? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. Potato for me still is number one. Alright, here's a giant squid I was looking for. But I didn't see it, and we already got squid. That looks crazy. Good morning. So we are on our way to Mixed Grounds Coffee Shop. We're craving a buco pandan latte that they have over there, and it is made with house milk, coconut pandan syrup, coconut cream, 
Coco Pandan Jelly and Espresso and it is so good. The 66 Night Market was pretty good. It was a good experience, but I will say though, two of the dishes we got from two places, actually three dishes, so two of them was the beef and squid and then this other dish was a Taiwanese popcorn chicken. All three dishes needed salt, which was a little surprising to us because usually when you go to Asian restaurants, salt is not a problem there. So I don't know if that's like, I don't know, what do you think? It was a little bland, it was good, like the meat and the flavor and everything was good. Just needed salt, like the Taiwanese popcorn chicken, that's like one of my favorite little snacks. But like you could taste like the uh, Szechuan peppercorn, you could really taste that. But then there's like, just needed a hint of salt to bring it all together, so. That was a little bit of a bummer, but we still had a good time. Overall, I would give that place a 7 out of 10, just because we might have ordered the wrong thing. So all of the places or all the vendors with long lines, we didn't want to wait, and it was getting really cold, and so, you know, if that's not your thing, you're getting old, which we are. So I ended up just going home and getting Shake Shack on the way home, which was good. Also, too, one thing I have to forget to mention is there's not a lot of seating and so a lot of it is standing and eating which is totally good but if you're vlogging that can be annoying so that could have dampered my experience personally a little bit just because it was just hard to vlog and eat and that's why I kind of put the camera away after a while so I only got a few clips that you saw previously. I, I still think if it's going to be in your town you should check it out because it's fun and good just needed some salt. All right we're here over at Mixed Grounds. Let's go get some coffee. Got Miss Aiko with me. So here's how it looks before you mix it. All right, we're gonna try this. Cheers. So good. Even better with the ad shot. It so it's not super sweet with an ad shot and it's very nutty too, huh? It's like a lot of nutty flavor. Also got a ham and cheese croissant. Let's have a bite. A bite at that crunchy part right there. Mm. That was all burnt cheese goodness. I'll leave this link down below. If you guys are in San Diego, you have to get this Rupa Pandan Latte. And if you don't like it too sweet, get an ad shot. Cheers. Mm. Here we go. Oh my god, are you getting another one? Can we share it? Maybe do one with no ice so you can drink it tomorrow. So we can get watered down. Alright, we're at J Street Park now. I'm gonna go for a walk, but this is a coming soon Sweetwater Park. And then here's a trail for like bikes and stuff. And if you look over there, it's like one of the new biggest resorts being built in California. It's by Gaylords. And basically, it's one of the last sort of land in the California coast where you could build because all the other sort of coastal land is protected. Yeah, it's exciting. Hopefully this brings a lot of new like travel and boosts our economy a little bit more. And then kind of to offset all of that construction and commercial stuff, they're doing a lot over here for, for keeping up with like the native landscaping and adding a lot of parks and walkways and hiking trails. So I think it's a pretty cool concept. A lot of people in San Diego aren't sure about it, but I feel like I think it's a great idea because this area in general has been underdeveloped for so many years. That's good for our city. Donnie and Hiro. <laughs> Hiro is like not a walker. She'd literally rather stay home. She hates the leash. Maybe her harness is too big. Huh. Let's go. So in Apple Fitness, they have like a walk with me fitness thing. And you're basically like walking with like celebrities or people of influence and they're kind of having a podcast, but they're literally walking. I always wanted to do that. I wanted to go live and like walk. The only thing about that though, is like if I'm walking, filming myself live, I can't really see you guys chatting with me. So I wonder how that would work out. Cause obviously we'd want to be 
interacting with you guys. Unless you just would like to just see a live of just walking. <laughs> Probably not. Okay, I think we're gonna head back. Aiko, let's head back. Let's see if Miss Aiko will run. My little running dog. Let's go, Ikes. She's a runner, y'all.